Defense attorneys for George Zimmerman make their closing arguments this morning in his murder trial. The jury is expected to begin deliberations later today. And police in the community where Trayvon Martin was shot and killed are ready for possible violence when the verdict comes. Michelle Miller is in Sanford, Florida. Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning. This began as a little known case in a small Florida town. But the combination of race and the perception of police bias fueled a national demand for justice. In the weeks after Trayvon Martin was killed, protesters around the country took to the streets calling for an arrest. Our son is your son. Yeah. Yeah. George Zimmerman admitted shooting the teen, but claimed self-defense. It was more than six weeks later, after mass protest, that police took Zimmerman into custody and charged him with second-degree murder. As the high-profile trial wraps up more than a year later, Florida law enforcement officials are making a public appeal of their own. Raise your voice and not your hand. In Broward County, near Martin's hometown, the sheriff released this video discouraging unrest. Community and religious leaders are urging calm, regardless of the trial's outcome. We have to communicate that responding violently is not the best response. Let's not desecrate this young man's memory. Let's do something positive out of this. Sanford's new police chief, Cecil Smith, says his force will be ready when the verdict is read. Well, I'm Chief Smith Hi. from the police department. We're going out and we're talking in the communities, getting out, knocking on doors, trying to find out what their issues and their concerns are and what the temperature is uh, with regards to this trial. He doesn't expect rioting or even protesting. Still, he is partnering with other law enforcement agencies to add more patrols in the coming days. If an event happens somewhere in the city, we'll have uh, the uh, appropriate response for it. We should protest, I mean, we should point out, rather, that while there were widespread protests last year, there were no reports of any violence. The jury is expected to get this case this afternoon. Nora, Anthony, Gail. Michelle Miller. Thanks, Michelle.